right. Hi, Algebra 1. Um, we're going to try notes maybe a little bit different way today. But you should have in front of you Activity 324. You were given these notes um, last week, and so now you need to have those out in front of you. And so we're going to go back to what we've been doing. Um, we're going to write the area as a product and as a sum. Okay. So when I write this as a product, remember product means to multiply, which means I'm looking for the um, length times the width or the base times the height. So let's look at this guy. I am going to look at this as my length. So I'm going to label what each little individual length looks like, okay? And then I'm going to write it as um, a product. So what does this look like? Well, I have one, two, three, four X's plus one, two, three, four, five, okay? So I have one, two, three, four X's plus five units, all right? That is my base or that length. All right, let's take a look at our height. Let's look at that guy right here. Well, that's an X, that's an X, and that's a one, two, three, okay? So that gives me two X plus three. All right, now let's write this as a product. So product means to multiply. So this becomes 4x plus 5 times 2x plus 3. That's my base and my height. I'll answer that later, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, as a sum. So think about what the word sum means. Product means to multiply. And sum means to add. Okay. So now let's put this in terms of its sum. So I have all these little pieces. So remember all the tiles that we had. Well, that's an x squared, that's an x squared. How many x squareds do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight of these things called x squared, okay? All right, I am gonna pause. Be right back, guys. All right, welcome back. Um, how many of my X's, or those are the orange tiles? So here, I've got X's, so how many do I have here? Well, I've got 12 here, but how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So total, I have 22 X's. Now, how many units do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And if you remember, that's what we've been doing in class. And sometimes we give you this and you have to work to get to here. Sometimes we give you the product and you have to work to the sum. But what we're gonna look at today is we know that using these algebra tiles is really helpful, but do we always need the algebra tiles? What happens if you're working at home and you don't have algebra tiles? What happens if you don't have eight of those? Okay, how can we make this a little bit easier for ourselves? So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this and I'm going to draw in something for you. I'm going to cut our rectangle into pieces. Okay, I'm going to look at my pieces like this and I want you to look at this and say, okay, what is in this bottom left corner? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight X squared tiles in that bottom corner. Okay, so let's take a look up here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 X's in the top left corner. Here I have 10 X's, and up here I have 15 units. Now what we're going to do from here on out, um, if you like the algebra tiles, we're gonna still let you use algebra tiles. However, what we want you to start seeing is what's called the generic rectangle. That's this guy right here. Notice it's the exact same rectangle. It's the exact same rectangle, except for you cannot see any of these individual tiles. We just told you, oh, by the way, there's eight of them, but we didn't draw out each eight. We told you, wait, there's 12, but we didn't draw out each 12. So let's answer this one. How is it similar? Well, it represents the same problem.
Notice this one says we have 8x squared, same here. This one says we have 12x, same, 10 and 15. Okay. But well, how is it different? Well, the generic rectangle, generic rectangle only gives us what's there. It doesn't give us the individual pieces. So the generic rectangle doesn't give the individual pieces. It tells us how many are there, but I can't actually see the eight individual x squared tiles. I can't see the 15 yellow tiles, okay? All right, let's see how this generic rectangle helps us. We can write all of our problems using the generic rectangle. Okay, let's take a look at these guys. So I now have four generic rectangles and I'm going to use them to help me get from the area as a sum and an area as a product. Okay, let me bring this down. So uh, notice the goal hasn't changed. The goal is still to write the area as a product and the area as a sum. So let's take a look at how this works. Well, this tells me my height is three. So I have three units or I have three X's turned on its side. Here I have a Y. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply three times y. Oh, there it is. Gives me three y. Now I'm going to take five times three and multiply, and I get a positive 15. So now I know how to write my area as a sum. Well, how many y tiles do I have? Well, I have three of them. How many units do I have? I have 15. Okay. Now my area as a product means I have my base, which is y plus five, times my height of three. Okay, notice I didn't actually have to get out three y tiles and 15 unit tiles. My generic rectangle did that for me. All right, let's try B. So B says I have a base of two x and I have a height of x. So what's in the middle? Well, two x times x gives me, 2x squared. So let's write this as a sum. Well, this, if you really want to remember what this looks like, this means you have two of those x squared tiles. That's what it looks like. Here's an x, here's an x, and here's an x. Okay, so how many purple tiles do I have? Well, I've got two of them. There it is, that's all I have. Now my product is my base times my height. Remember, these are two areas. The areas are equal, we're just writing them in different ways. All right, what about C? Okay, so I have x times two x's. Oh, thank you exponents. We now know what x times x is. It's two x squared. Five times two x is 10 x. Negative three times five is a negative 15, and this gives us a negative three x. So now I have to put my pieces together. So I have how many purple tiles? Well, I have two of them. Be careful here. I have a positive 10 here, but I have a negative three there. So total, how many do I have? Yep, I've got seven. Now, how many units do I have? I have 15. That's its pieces written, the area written as a sum. Now, my base is two X minus three, and my height is X plus five. All right. Pause the video here and try D on your own. Okay, Algebra 1, I want you to take a look at your answer compared to my answer. Remember, the generic, tri the generic triangle, the generic rectangle just allows us to see all of the pieces of an algebraic tile rectangle without having to write all of those pieces. Okay, that's the beauty of it. All right. Let's see if you can now, of course, look at this in a different way. All right, 
Remember, in Algebra 1, we ask you guys to really think about, can you work a problem one way, but now can you work it backwards? And so that's what we're asking you to do here. So this one, I gave you the dimensions. I gave you the base and the height. Now you have to multiply to find the area written as a sum. So let's look at this first one. We have x plus 5 times 3x plus 2. So I'm going to make my generic rectangle. Make your generic rectangle. I know there's four because I have two terms from here, the x and the plus five, and two from here, three x plus two. Okay, so now what's my base? Well, my base has a dimension of x plus five. I don't have to write out the actual tiles. I know that's the dimension. Now let's look at this guy. The height is three x plus two. And now you're gonna do exactly what you did in that last, those last examples. You're going to just multiply. 3x times x is 3x squared. 2 times x is 2x. 5 times 2 is 10. And 3 times 5 is 15x. So now I'm looking at all of my like terms and I'm going to write the area as a sum. So this is what it looks like. Area as a sum. I already know it as a product. That's what you were given. So I have three x squared tiles, three purple tiles. I have 17 orange tiles or x tiles, and I have 10 unit tiles or those little ones. Okay, all right. I want you guys to pause the video here and I want you to try B. Okay, algebra one, time to check your answers. You should get 10 y squared minus 11 y minus 35. This right here is a 14y if you can't read it. Okay, let's look at the next one. So the next one is weird because I didn't give you a normal one, meaning I didn't get you, give you one that looks like these other two. So this one, I have a base of 3x, and that's it. I, there is no 3x plus 2 or 3x minus 5. It's just 3x. So I just need one space. But my height is 6x squared minus 11y. Okay, so now I'm gonna do exactly what I've done before. So I look at my numbers. Six times three is 18, and x squared times x gives me x cubed. All right, now I look here, I get negative 11 times three is a negative 33, and x times y is just xy. So now my area, written as a sum, is 18x cubed, minus 33xy. All right, I'm gonna help you set up this fourth one and then I'm gonna ask you to finish it because it is also a weird one. All right, so you make your big box and I look at my base. My base has two terms. So I know it's a 5w minus 2p. But my height has three terms, 3w plus P minus four. So that means I have to do a lot of multiplying. So three times five is 15. W times W is W squared. Five W times P is exactly that. It's just five W P. Now this one I have five times negative four is negative 20 W. All right, pause it here and I want you to fill in the other side and see if you can write the area as a sum. Okay, welcome back, Algebra 1. I want you to check your work. It should look something like this. Now, you might ask yourself, what happens if I wrote my negative 2p first and then wrote plus 15w squared? It's okay. Um, we like to write things with higher powers first, and then we work our way down in terms of the size of those tiles. But you usually write your squares first, then any xy tiles, and then any xy or pw tiles. Um, if you have any combination of those, that's fine. If you did your negative 20w first, okay, it's okay. But just know we'll tend to write it with the highest powers first. Okay, on to your last challenge.
I love these challenges because these are like puzzles. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to work the first one with you, and then I'm going to see if you can finish the rest. So when you are given a blank, half filled in tiles, okay, you are um, you're looking at it as a puzzle. So you're trying to find both the base and the height and fill in any blanks. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I know from here to here is X, but I don't know what that is. That's a question mark. So I have to look and I say X times question mark. Ooh, but it gives me X, Y. So what can I multiply X by to give me X, Y? Well, yeah, you guessed it. You get Y. Okay, so now I know the height of my rectangle is Y. But this guy, now, I have a question mark. So what could that be? So what times Y gives me 3Y? Well, all I have to multiply by is a positive 3. So 3 times Y gives me 3Y. And here's what my equation looks like. I get X plus 3 times Y, area written as a product, base times height, then on the inside, I have an XY tile plus three Y tiles. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll do one more with you. I'm going to be generous here. I need to figure out all of my missing pieces here. So I want to look at this guy. So what times what gives me X squared? Well, I know I have to multiply the same thing to get a squared. So this one has to be x times x. That has to give me x squared. Okay, so what does that mean for this right here? I already know that this right here is an x. I, I know that, okay, because it's the same as that one. So what times x gives you 12x? Oh, that's going to give me a plus 12. Now I can start really filling in those pieces. So 12 times five, that'll give me 60. And then I have five times X gives me five X. So here's how this one works. My base, and that's an X, okay? There's my X. I get my base is X plus five, and my height is X plus 12. Now, what about the pieces? Well, I have one X squared tile. I have, 17 X tiles, and I have 60 unit tiles. All right, pause the video here and see if you can figure out those last two. Okay, Algebra One, those are your answers. Now I really want you guys to make sure I didn't make a mistake. If I made a mistake, you come find me and let me know. Your job is to check those two and see what you got. Remember, a generic rectangle makes our life easier. Um, if you still want to use the tiles, that is okay. A generic rectangle is just there to help us understand. You don't have to actually draw out all of the boxes, all of the X's, all of the units to understand a problem. We'll see you in class. Make sure you bring these notes to class. Um, that way we know we can where, where you had trouble and we can help you. Okay, we'll see you soon, Algebra One.